Los Angeles, 1937. There are lots of guys like J.J. Gittes. They're easy to find, if you want to find them. Mr. Gittes, have we ever met? Well, no. Never? Never. Since you agree with me that we've never met before, you must also agree with me that I've never hired you to do anything, certainly not spy on my husband. I don't get tough with anyone, Mr. Giddies. My lawyer does. You do your job. And sometimes you find the answers to questions that should never be asked. Or you find out what happens to people who ask them. Hold it there, kitty cat. You're a very nosy fellow, kitty cat, huh? You know what happens to nosy fellows? I dislike the word cheat. Did you have affairs? Mr. Giddies. Did he know about it? Where were you when your husband died? You were seeing someone, too. For very long? I don't see anyone for very long, Mr. Giddies. It's difficult for me. Mr. Giddies, you're dealing with a disturbed woman who just lost her husband. I don't want to take an advantage of and Faye Dunaway in a Robert Evans production of a Roman Polanski film, Chinatown. An ambulance? You want an ambulance, Alby? <laughs> well, you see, you don't want no ambulance. Is your name B? What? Felix B. No, no. We borrowed it. <laughs> No. <laughs> you know, we mustn't spoil this lovely kite. We must be my little Horace. Or else when we want it to fly, it won't work. You let your filthy little brat get up to his disgusting tricks. Besides, I know perfectly well why you came. Get up, you artist! <laughs> it's time! It's time? Let me use my electric razor. I told you it tears my flesh. I got delicate skin. Teresa showed you the, the no, she castle. Didn't. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, Come along, darling. Hi. Baba, try to get over again. Let's have a toilet messenger. Oh, yeah. Bye. 
Nobody's insulting you, sweetie pie. Your coffee is ready. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I put you to. No problem. Thanks again and goodbye. Who is that? It's the guy who stopped to help me. Yeah, flat in this. Can you believe it? I forgot to take it out. I drove all the way home before it hit me. Of course, I'm so stupid. <laughs> this time you have to have a drink. You know what Nietzsche said? No. We can never entirely possess the female soul. What is this? It's him. Who? Oh. The doctor who played Death and the Maiden. She thought that you recognized him. Thought? You were blindfolded. The voice. His laugh. <laughs> I don't know you. I've never seen you before in my life. I don't know what it is you think I've done. This is kidnapping. This is assault. We're going to go to jail for 20 years. What are you going to do with him? I want him to confess. How can I confess to something I haven't done? You might kill him. We push him off the cliff onto the red car. This is still going to know was murdered. So what am I talking about? I'm telling you, it's him. He talked about science and philosophy. He liked to quote Nietzsche. Nietzsche? She's mad. She needs therapy. You are her therapy. I'm not crazy! Sigourney Weaver. Ben Kingsley. Polina! Stuart Wilson. Tell me, what can I say? What do you want me to say? If I'm guilty, you'll kill me. If I'm innocent, you'll kill me. I just want the truth. Death and the Maiden. presents Hey Let's make love Mia Farrow Starring John Cassavetes. Let's have a baby. Oh, Ro, honey, for God's sakes, don't cry, I all know, right? I won't. <laughs> Wonderful, well, you're young and healthy. You have lots of children. Madame and Monsieur shall have the dessert after all. Mousse au chocolat. Or as many calls it, chocolate mouse. It's oh. mm, delicious. It has an undertaste. A chalky undertaste. Nice. Sleep is what you need. Good night's sleep. You better go down below, miss. This is no dream. This is really happening. Written for the screen and directed by Roman Polanski. From the best-selling novel by Ira Levin, Ruth Gordon, Sidney Blackmer, Morris Evans, and Ralph Bellamy. In a William Castle production. Rosemary's Baby. You realize I know nothing about politics. You voted for him, didn't you? Adam Lang, of course I did. Everyone voted for him. Yeah. He was paid $10 million for these memoirs, but it's a ghostwriter he needs. This is a great opportunity for you. Hello? Who are you? I'm your ghost. The man 
manuscript is not to be removed from this room, it's not to be copied. That would be a security risk. So, how do we go about this? I interview you and turn your answers into prose. Ready to start? Former British Prime Minister Adam Lang is back in the news tonight. You must be wondering what you've let yourself in for. You're working for money! The pressure must have gotten to the first ghostwriter. You didn't tell me there was another writer. He was drunk. He drowned. I wonder if we'll ever know whether it was accident or suicide. It was the book that killed him. What have you gotten me into? The prosecutor is asking you to launch a formal investigation. Investigating me for what? You're working for a war criminal. You don't have any proof. You're his ghostwriter. You'll get us the proof. The truth is in Lang's memoirs. You don't realize how serious this is getting. I'm in trouble. Hello? I think my predecessor was murdered. In one decision Lang made in 10 years as Prime Minister, which wasn't in the interests of the USA. You're practically one of us now. I am. You're the writer. That makes you an accomplice. Do you have something to tell me? Maybe the whole world. No one plays Chopin like you. Well, no, that's a compliment. By order of the governor of the Warsaw district, there will be created a Jewish district in which all Jews will have to reside. You must get away at once. Not leaving. Can't I take my chances here? But I have to keep moving here. The Germans are hunting down indiscriminately now. Keep as quiet as possible. No one knows you're here. I want to help. I want to do something. Don't let them get you alive. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? Quiet in there, babe. I checked in this morning with my wife. Yes. And while I was in the shower, she left the room. Yes. And she hasn't come back. And she left with the man who had called her. He had his arm around her. He could have had it done. Like this. Here. What would you like us to do exactly? I want you to find my wife. No one will believe him. I hope you know what you're doing, Dr. Walker. Listen! And only one person in Paris can help him. My wife. What wife? My wife. She's about to lead him. You will get your wife, I will get my money, and everybody will be happy. Into a world as mysterious as she is. Stop lying to me! Now! What began as a holiday in Paris became a journey into suspense. Harrison Ford in a Roman Polanski film, Frantic. May I take a look? All my own rare editions have the same protagonist, the devil. Only the supreme masterpiece was missing. The Nine Gates of the Kingdom of Shadows. A book reputed to have been written by Satan himself. I want you to go to Europe. I want you to get it for me. You mean the devil won't show up? Reputed to conjure up the Prince of Darkness in person. Some books are dangerous. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, Mr. Corso. Get out before it's too late. I'm afraid it already is. At last the key. Unlock the night gate. To brave the arrows of misfortune and fear neither news nor fire. There have been men who have been burned alive for just a glimpse of what you are about to witness. Oh merde, j'arrive trop tard. Si 
passé pour la Vénus à la fourrure, ils sont tous partis il y a une demi-heure. Nous allons programmer d'autres auditions, sous peu. Hein oh, mais je suis là, ça, ça m'évitera de revenir demain. J'ai même un costume. Laissez-moi juste vous montrer comment elle me va, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. Mmh. Allez. Oui. Merci. Non, non. Quand vous voulez. Hein. Euh, vous trouvez pas que c'est sexiste Et le Tout-Puissant le frappa et le livra aux mains d'une femme euh... Je ne fais que citer le roman de Sacha Mazoc. Et ça c'est pas du Titien, ça, mon coco. C'est du porno, sado, mazo. Que... Ben pour moi, c'est une pièce sur deux personnes qui sont unies à jamais. Leurs cœurs sont menottés l'un à l'autre. Menottés dans la perversion Non, menottés dans la passion. Sa passion à lui C'est chimique, c'est la rencontre de deux personnes qui met le feu aux poudres. Mais tout ça, c'est lutte des sexes et lutte des classes. Vanda est quelqu'un d'adorable, d'innocent, qui tombe par hasard sur un gros pervers. Non, mais vous comprenez pas, vous comprenez rien. Comment vous pouvez jouer aussi bien Vanda et être conne à son sujet, à ce point, au sujet du reste Putain de comédienne à la con Connasse Please, sir. I want some more. What? Oliver Twist has asked for more. For more! That boy will be hanged. You know you've got no father or mother and that you were brought up by the parish? Yes, sir. You have come here to be educated and to be taught a useful trade. Take down the shutters! Clear the office. Say your prayers. <laughs> yes. Let the boy alone. Let him alone. Well, everybody's let him alone. His mother, father, and all his relations has let him alone. So we need someone who don't. My name is Jack Dawkins, better known as the Artful Dodger. Oliver Twist. Why are you known as the Artful Dodger? That's why. Oliver Twist! <laughs> I hope I have the honour of a more intimate acquaintance. <laughs> Come on, Oliver, join us. Put yourself under Fagan and you'll be able to retire and do the genteel. Police are engaged in searching for Fagan and William Sykes, a well-known dangerous villain. You know what this is? Fancy that. You're famous, Fagan. For your kindness, I'll always remember it. Canon Films presents Walter Matthau in Roman Polanski's epic adventure about the most infamous, dreaded, and feared pirate of all time. I am Thomas Bartholomew Red. Long live Captain Red! He was the most daring buccaneer to sail the seven seas. A master of surprise. A genius at escape. His rightful place is on the scaffold! He had royalty for breakfast. Nobles for lunch and leftovers for dinner. Would you not prefer the head? They say he ransomed a royal princess. Three thousand? Insolent scoundrel! It's known he plundered a priceless treasure. The throne carries a curse. From the director of Chinatown and Tess, Roman Polanski, <laughs> comes a comedy spectacular. Don't go back now! It's victory or death! Walter Matthau in Roman Polanski's Pirates.
is Carol Ledoux, young, beautiful, desirable. Men found her irresistible. <laughs> A frightening film that takes the everyday world and distorts it, taking you inside the mind of a girl driven to insanity. No other film has ever shown with such intense reality the terrifying journey into madness. I want to be, to be with you all the time. In the attractive body of this beautiful girl throbs the mind of a killer. Carol Ledoux, possessed by the nightmare world of her sensual fantasies. Now the horrors from her twisted mind spill over into Poor little girl. All by herself. All shaking like a little frightened animal. Come on. Come on. Just, just a little kiss between friends, huh? Come on. Now the nightmare terror from the depths of her imagination erupts into the solid world of every day and fact and fantasy are fused in a frantic fury of repulsion. What was the mystery behind her eyes? What was the secret beneath her smile? What was the shame concealed in her heart? What was the truth about Tess? Columbia Pictures presents a new film by Roman Polanski, based on the classic Thomas Hardy novel, Tess of the Durbervilles. Starring the stunning and sensual Nastasia Kinski as Tess. She was a poor man's daughter. I want to take you away from this wretched place. It's unworthy of you. An aristocrat's mistress. Why not make the most of life? I was blinded for a while, that's all. That's what all women say. How dare you talk like that? Has it ever struck you that what all women say, some women may all feel... All right. And a gentleman's wife. Which are my hands, and which are yours? They're all yours. She was born into a world where they called it an act of seduction, not an act of violence. I was your master once. I shall be so again. If you're any man's wife, you're mine. What she did would shatter her world forever. I shall protect you by every means in my power. Whatever you may or may not have done, I love you. I love you. Tess. A tapestry of color and light. Of breathtaking beauty. Of overwhelming emotion. A story as timely today as the day it was written. In the tradition of the great motion picture classics, Gone with the Wind, Lawrence of Arabia, and Dr. Shivago. This is Roman Polanski's modern masterpiece, Tess, a victim of her own provocative beauty. Who 
says vampires are no laughing matter. <laughs> they certainly are. Hmm. Vampire killers, or, pardon me, but your teeth are in my neck. Jack McGarrett. Sharon Tate. Alfie Bass. Ferdy Main. And Terry Dodds. Two men on a vampire hunt. Simple? They certainly are. the innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. Leave all the rest to me. Macbeth. All hail Macbeth. All hail Macbeth. 